Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to make some pom-poms, such as the ones seen here on my Home for Christmas stocking. And we will be using, to make these pom-poms, a clover pom-pom maker. So what you're going to need is your pom-pom maker. You will need a pair of scissors, as well as a bit of yarn of your choosing. I'm going to be using some Lion Brand Thick and Quick yarn, which is a super bulky weight yarn. To make your pom-pom, first you're going to take a look at your pom-pom maker, and it will look something like this here and it can actually detach which you will see why when we come to the end of our pom-pom right now you're going to keep it together but you are going to open it up so that it looks just like this to make your pom-pom you're going to take your yarn and i choose a side to start and simply holding the yarn tail on one side you're going to begin wrapping your yarn around this little half donut shape, this little horseshoe. And you're just going to wrap your yarn all the way around. The thickness that you wrap your yarn around will determine how thick your pom-pom is in the end. So because I am using a super bulky weight yarn, I'm not going to wrap it around too many times. If I was using a thinner yarn, I'd want to wrap it around probably a lot more than what I'm going to do here today. So you're going to wrap it around. You'll have a nice, thick, you want it to be a solid covering all around your pom-pom maker. Once you feel you've wrapped it around enough, you're going to bring your yarn across to the other side and you're going to begin wrapping it around that one on the other empty donut or horseshoe on the other side. So again, I'm wrapping it. I want these sides to be fairly even as far as how many times I'm wrapping it. I'm going to keep wrapping. Just like this. Until again you have the desired thickness. Sometimes it may just take a little bit of playing with it to get it uh, to the thickness that you want. Okay. Once you are satisfied with how many times you've wrapped it around, you're then going to close your pom-pom maker just like this. Okay? Then, holding it closed, you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut in between the two rails all along the outside. And actually, you can snip it off here so that you're not attached to your ball. So I am just in between. You can kind of see there's two rails here. So you're just going to take your scissors and snip your yarn down the center all the way around just like this once you are finished snipping one side you're going to turn it over and do the same to the other side make sure that it stays closed you may need to hold it down And snip right down the center around the other side. Just like that. Now for probably the trickiest part of your pom-pom, you're going to take a piece of yarn. And you can decide what length you would like, whatever's easiest. And you are going to take your pom-pom maker that little thread. You're going to lay that yarn over top in the rails and then you are going to pull it through. You see I'm pulling it down there into the center of your pom-pom. So when you turn it over you'll see on the other side two ends are going to come together. 
Now this part is important because you're going to want to tie this, uh, these two ends together in a knot as tight as you can. So I do the first part of the knot and I pull through and I pull as tight, as tight as I can. Then keeping the tension on that first part of the knot, I then complete the knot just like this. Again, pull it tight down at the bottom. Try and keep that tension. You want it to be nice and tight because it's going to hold all your threads together and then quickly pull it down into the center. Once you're satisfied with the strength of your knot, you're going to open up the two pieces here. So open up this one and you're going to open up the other side and then you're going to pull the center apart. Just like that. Then you're going to kind of even out your pom-pom. You can trim off any threads that might be a little longer than desired. And there you have it. That is your pom-pom made with the Clover pom-pom maker. You can either trim these off or from my home for Christmas stocking, I left these long tails on so that I might affix the pom-pom to the cuff. There you have it. Thank you so much for joining me on this quick tutorial on how to make a pom-pom using the Clover pom-pom maker. On my uh, YouTube channel here, which you, I would love for you to subscribe to, you'll also find a tutorial on how to make pom-poms using some recycled um, toilet paper rolls. Thank you for joining me. Happy crocheting. Bye.